invite you guys to close your eyes for a few seconds. Close your eyes, everybody, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> please, in the world, many countries celebrate it, and this is like the reason for why there are a lot of uh, articles, videos, uh, paper, like college, when you like conclude. Anyways, there are a lot of metro about this. So today I want to talk about the origin of carnival, the carnival in Brazil, and the both sides of the carnival. Um, the origin of carnival is like a kind of conf confused because some people think that this is like from Europe and but like officially this was uh, Grace uh, officially this party on um, 17th century beside Grace and um, they did like kind of parties for the god Dionysus and called black buckles. This is a kind of god that is like famous for the god of the wine yeah. and the things like about the body and the pleasure about the body, the, the flash, I don't, I don't remember how to say it. So they did like a lot of uh, parties uh, with sexual orgies and drinks <laughs> to like celebrate this god and the, the Catholic Church in uh, 590 and they like get this party this for their calendar and in 1545 this uh, party like start to be popular in the world and it's the kind that there is like now so uh, the origin of the word carnival is like a kind of confusion too. It's from Latin, so it's like carn livere, and it's like means like take the meat. But with the time, they like change the word and like carnivale, and like means say goodbye to the meat. So why I'm talking about that? Because the time to celebrate the Carnival is like before the land. I don't know if you guys know what is the land. Land is like a, it's a tradition for the Catholic Church. And during like 40 days, you do not eat meat. Like, do you know? Get it? Yeah. Good. So, the this part is celebrate three days before the Ash Wednesday. The Ash Wednesday is the first day of this 40 days. In Brazil, actually, they start to celebrate this a little early. And this is like making the Brazil famous to celebrate the carnival because it's a long time. So carnival in the world is like more than 12 countries celebrate that. So in America, uh, in New Orleans, where in the United States, they celebrate that and it's like the second biggest um, celebration of carnival. The first one is Brazil. 
So they call Margin Grace. It's from French. I think so. Yeah, it's French. And the other one's Caribbean. And the Europe, the famous is Italy, Venice. Like they use a lot of masks and stuff. And England too. And in England, they like uh, try to compete with the the New Orleans to be like the second biggest carnival in the world. But I'm talking about the carnival in Brazil. So, the in Brazil, this is start with the Shrovertide. I don't know if this, but it's the, it's the name. So, in Portuguese, it's Entrudo. And this is like a kind of a stupid joke and consists like the, you, you like pick like water and put in balloons and vinegar and lime and not good stuff and throw in the people. So for many times they tried to stop with that but it was like a long time until like this did not happen anymore. Uh, so when this kind of party start some people will start to think they want to do something different. So they start to think about to do like private dances and private parties, like just for some people, selected people, and then can use like masks and dance and nobody know who is each other. So this is like start to be the carnival in Brazil. And which the time in Rio de Janeiro, the famous city, they start to do the samba it's like a kind of music, I don't know if you guys know about this. And like they try to increase how the things are going to work and in Brazil. So they start to use the confet, the mascara and instrument and doing songs. So Brazil there are uh, 56 states and one strict federal. So it's the biggest place. But uh, the media show for the world in Brazil this party, Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro is the famous party in the world because uh, they have uh, the amazing like parade and the competition and beautiful women and everything. Sao Paulo is a kind of the same. So it's composed like the, this is like a school samba. So they have like a front commission. They do like a show, and then they have a queen of the battery, the beautiful girl that go first, then the battery, the guy that like doing music. They call Ala Bayanas. Bayana is like the girls that dancing with this big, biggest like dress and like robe. Um, and allegoric cars. I couldn't find like definition, but they like building different steps. And the other part is the north of Brazil. They have a lot of cities. And they have different kind of to celebrate. And like giant dolls and parades. Uh, different kind of uh, rhythms. Frevo and Maracatu. too. Um, and electric trio with famous singers. So they sing it and everybody drink and dance and have fun. So what is the both side of uh, the Brazilian carnival? This bring a lot of joy for the country. This like m keep like moving the economy in Brazil because have a lot of tourists uh, over there. So it's good for like cl uh, for the section of clothing and beverage and everything. But uh, what most of people doesn't know and have like a lot of traffic uh, accident of traffic because I have a lot of alcohol. So a lot of uh, sexually and problems. So what do you learn? Uh, we don't have clear origin, but it was officiated in Greece. Uh, the celebrations before the land, the period of the Catholic Church. Many countries celebrate that, and this is the biggest party in the world. Brazil is famous because the huge have the biggest uh, carnival with the parades called Samba. And it brings joy and tourism from Brazil, but brings to excessive alcohol, disease, and death. So if you enjoy the carnival, be presented.